Hello friends, welcome to Unix Programming Tutorials. In this class, we are going to learn about the branching control statements. So what is a branching? So normally, we write the program in a sequence of instructions. For example, I write six instructions as one shell script. So execution is starting from first line. So after this, second, third, fourth, five, fifth, and sixth we are going to complete all these six instructions to execute this shell script in real time applications we are not going to execute all the instructions for example biggest of two numbers in biggest of two numbers you are going to print a is big or you are going to print b is big that means in this case you are going to execute either this instruction or this instruction we cannot execute these two instructions. In these situations, we need branching statement. If you execute all the instructions, there is no need of branching statements. If we have so these type of instructions in our program, then we need branching statements. While writing the shell script, there may be a situation when you need to adopt one path out of the given two paths. That means, so this is the one path, this is the another path. In these two paths, you are going to execute only one path at a time. The statements used to select this path is called branching control statements. How we can select these statements? So based on some branching statements. So these statements are one is if else, another one is case. So this is similar to switch. This is similar to switch case. Okay. In this if statement, we have different types. If, if else, if else if ladder. Okay, we can discuss one by one. So first one is if statement. What is the purpose of the if statement? If you are going to give some expression, if the expression is true, then you are going to execute that if block. Otherwise, we don't enter into this if block. So if you are going to give some expression here, if the expression is true, then only you can execute these statements. Okay, so this is the syntax. If keyword in square brackets, you are going to give the expression. After that, next time you are going to write the then keyword. After that, next time you are going to write the statements and you can terminate this if with F5. That means it is an open bracket. So this is the closed bracket we are using in C language. In shell programming, you are using if F5. Okay, so this is the example. Here we are going to check whether the two values are same or not. I am entered. I am going to enter two values. I am checking that these two values are same or not. Okay, so echo enter any two numbers. This message is displayed on monitor. In next line read num1 num2. Then I am going to give 10 10. Okay, next if so dollar num1 means you are going to get the content in the num1 variable. So what is the content in the num1 variable? 10. So, so 10 hyphen eq so dollar num2 that is also 10. So hyphen eq is an operator that is equals to operator. Since see we are using equals to equals to operator. In shell programming we can use the equals to equals to how we can check equals to equals to means by using hyphen eq. 10 hyphen eq 10 it is true. It returns true. So, you enter into this block. So, number 1 and number 2 are same. It prints on monitor. If I enter 10, 12, then 10 equals to equals to 12, false. We don't enter into this block. So, this is about if statement. Now, we see if else statement. In this, if you are going to write some expression, if the expression is true, you are going to execute this statement one. That means the true block. If it is false, then you are going to execute this else block. Okay. So this is the example. So echo enter any two numbers. That means this is print on monitor. So read number one, number two. For example, I enter 10, 12. So 10 is assigned to number one. 12 is assigned to number two. So if dollar number one. So that means the content in the number one variable is 10 hyphen eq. 
So dollar number two means twelve. Ten hyphen eq twelve. That means ten equals equals to twelve. No, it is false. So the control goes to else block. It prints number one and number two are not same. If I enter ten ten, then so ten equals equals to ten. True. Then we enter into this true block and print number one and number two are same. So now we see so else if ladder. That means you are going to write another condition in else block. Okay. So if here you are going to provide one expression. If this expression is true, then we enter into this block and execute only statement one. If this condition is false, then you are going to check another condition that we write in else if statement. Else if. If this condition is true, you are going to execute statement two. If this condition is false, you are going to execute statement three. Okay. So this structure we are called as a else if ladder. Okay. Now we see the example. So enter any two number. So this message is displayed on monitor. So read num one, num two. For example, I enter twenty ten. So twenty is assigned to num one. So ten is assigned to num two. I check twenty hyphen eq ten. So twenty hyphen eq means twenty equals equals to ten. No, it is false. Then the control goes to this statement. In this, you are going to check twenty hyphen gt ten. So gt means greater than. So hyphen gt means greater than twenty greater than ten. Yes, it is true. So we are going to print number one is greater than number two. For example, if I enter ten twenty, in this case the expression one is false, the expression two is false. So we are going to execute number two is greater than number one. If I enter ten ten, then the statement one is true. You are going to print number one and number two are same. Okay. So this is about if else statements. Now we are going to see case statement. It is similar to switch statement in C language. Switch statement. I hope you all are remember the switch statement. In switch statement, you are going to give one value. If the value is match with the case, you are going to execute the statement. Similarly, the specified value match with the pattern, then it will execute the statement. Okay, so this is the syntax. Case here, you are going to give some pattern and write in. So after this pattern is match with any pattern. For example, the pattern is two, then you are going to execute pattern two statement. If it is one, you are going to execute pattern one statement. If it is the n, you are going to execute the n statement. So we can terminate with e s e c. The if is terminate with f i, and similarly the case is terminate with e s e c. Okay. So this is the example. The program is for to print day name. Here you are going to give one value day number. So for example, I give four. Enter a day number. This is displayed on monitor, and I give the four. So four is assigned to variable day. Case day dollar day means four. So four in. Now this is the matched pattern. It displays Wednesday. If it is a one, it displays Sunday. If it is seven, then it displays Saturday. If I give eight, then so no pattern is matched and we execute the last instruction as the invalid day number. It is similar to default in switch statement i hope you all are understand so branching control statements in unix so now we are going to see the so branching control statements in that first one is if statement so this is the if statement here if you are going to give one expression if this value is true then you are going to execute these statements now we can check that sh the program name is if example dot sh enter any two numbers i give 10 10 so number 1 and number 2 are same if i give 10 20 it does not display anything why it is a only if statement this program contains only if statement now we are going to see if else statement so if this statement is true we are going to execute this true block 
if this condition is false the expression is false you are going to execute this else block now we can execute this sh if else example dot sh program name enter any two numbers 10 10 so number one and number two are same if i give 10 20 so number one and number two are not same okay the next structure is else if ladder so here we write two conditions so one is the expression one so dollar number one hyphen eq dollar number two if it is false then you are going to check this condition so dollar number one hyphen gt dollar number two we execute this so sh if else later example dot sh enter any two numbers and 10 10 so number one and number two are same 10 20 so number two is greater than number one 20 10 number one is greater than number two okay the next one case statement so this is the program to print day name I enter day number if it is matched with this pattern we are going to print the day name so we execute this sh case dot sh enter a day number I enter 5 it displays Thursday if I enter 1 it displays Sunday if I enter 2 it displays Monday if I enter 8 invalid day number if I enter 90 invalid day number 